Well, you've asked about the books. Uh, I've got three books that I was asked to be involved with here over the last few years. Uh, the first book we came out with for the ABS was called Handles and Guards. Uh, Dr. Batson, who was our chairman at the time of the ABS, asked that we have some kind of a uh, handout type activity for our classes. Well, it turned into more than that. So, uh, this book is now offered to whoever is interested in it by the ABS as well as the other two. I authored all three books, but they are a property of the ABS, so whatever uh, expenses or rewards are gained financially from going to the ABS, I don't derive anything from that. But the Handles and Guards book is just that. It talks about taking a finished blade that's been forged around, heat treated, and polished, and then attaching one kind of a guard or bolts with a handle to it. Uh, also talks about some of the embellishment uh, features that you can do on knives, such as silver wire inlay, file work, engraving, and so on. And so there's a number of things this is, is covered in, and has been fairly successful as so, uh, hopefully an educational uh, uh, ad for, for people. The second book we came up with, uh, I say we, my wife was very instrumental in helping uh, do the writing on these, was on the handles and guards uh, knife, or I'm sorry, on the uh, Brute de Forge knife, which is a little knife I came up with some years ago. It, 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 it's like all knives, it has a blade, it has a handle, but it has a little integral guard in it, which makes it a little bit different than some. And so we go through all aspects of the forging, grinding, installation of the guard, uh, heat treating, and, and all that. So this little book relates strictly to that style of, of work. The third book is one that's the most recent. It came out about a year, year and a half ago, and it's on uh, leather sheaths as it pertains to making for knives. And uh, uh, we go through all the process talking about leather tanning, uh, the kinds of leather used on, on knife sheath making, uh, embellished out of one kind of tooling, basket weaving, floral patterns, making patterns for the sheaths, stitching, uh, molding, uh, all aspects of, of leather work that requires to make a knife sheath. And there's about seven different kinds of knife sheaths or pouches in here that are covered in the uh, process of making for, for knives and folding knives. Terrific. Could you show us some, you got some knives with you, Joe? Hey, let's see what we got here. Terrific. Uh, this is a, well, I would call a typical southwestern style Bowie knife. It's a bit, this one particular knife was a class project, uh, one of the classes I taught for the ABS down in uh, Pontywood several years ago. Uh, it was forged out of a piece of 52100 ball bearing steel with stag handle. Uh, attached a stag handle with butt cap and, and collars and so on. The knife sheath then is uh, a knife sheath that was actually made for the leather book here about a year ago. So this is actually in the book. And so uh, this is one style of knife that I have made in the past. The little brute de forge knife that I made reference to a second ago is a knife which is forged, you can still see the hammer marks and so on in the upper portion of the blade. And the brute de forge is a French term that means rough and unfinished. And that's exactly what this is. It does not deteriorate from the knife in its ability to act as a cutting tool, but it just doesn't have the spit and finish that a, that a finished knife would have where all surfaces are polished and cleaned up. It has a little integral guard which has been forged in as part of the forging process, which makes it a little more unique maybe than some other knives. This one has uh, stainless steel bolsters which have been riveted into position and has uh, Elkhorn or Eric Antler handles on it. Um, the top of the blade has got a little file work and engraving on the top of it as well as the back of the uh, tang and then the, said the bolsters themselves have been engraved. So uh, the embellishment doesn't make the knife cut any better, it just makes it look a little nicer and in no way should be a substitute for good work on the knife. So this is a little different style of knife than you might see in most times. Terrific. How about the sheath? The sheath itself, again, is one that was made uh, for the book. And it's uh, made out of nine ounce uh, live oak tooling leather. Uh, it has a basket weave pattern, which is hand stamped. Uh, I used to hand stitch all the sheaths, but now I'm using a a little sewing machine made by Tipman called the Boss, and uh, it simplifies the process and cuts down on the length of time of, of sewing one up. Has a little uh, silver contour on the front of it there, it gives it a little bit of a southwestern flair to it. 
and uh, typical of the kind of sheets I like to make for the knives. Terrific. Thanks, Joe. Okay, thank you.